Emily, I'm going to put you on the spot first, if I can. Do uh, it. Relatively heavy question for such a beautiful musical, but I just wanted to say, you know, you're a relatively young woman. 9-11 um, was different for each generation. It hit differently. And you were a New Yorker, obviously, as well. Why is this musical important for people of your age bracket? And what do you remember about how it really affected, you know, your generation and, and New York 20 years ago? Well, that is a heavy question and a very good question. Um, I was, I'll just, people can infer my age by this answer. I, I was a freshman in high school. I went to LaGuardia. So I was in, you know, Midtown Manhattan. Um, it was my fifth day of high school, 9-11. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think one of the most fascinating things about being a part of this show has actually been meeting young people who weren't, who weren't born until after 9-11. And, hearing their experience of the show and, you know, them cobbling together bits of information that their parents have shared with them, that they've learned about in school, that the show shares with them. And interestingly enough, my uncle, Jim, who's in this room with us, he and I spent many hours that day on 9-11 together in, in the city. And uh, so there's, there's just, I think it's really cool to, you know, we all, the first day of rehearsal for the tour, which I did, we all went around the room and shared our 9-11 experience. And to know that there's somebody on that stage that I'm not only related to, but but that literally shared that day with me is, it's, it's hard to even describe. But I think um, to give audiences the opportunity, and now not just in the theater, audiences that will be watching it on Apple TV+, Plus, the opportunity to remember where they were, what they felt, how they approached that day and the days following. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty profound. I love that you brought up the fact that this is in a sense a family affair and we'll go to Jim for this because I love this kind of uncle niece connection. Uh, but more importantly, this was the first time I got to see this show. My mom had raved about it when she got to see the Toronto production of, uh, but I get to see this as the first example of this production. It's seemingly driven by such a cohesive group that you all mm -hmm. seemed like such a family on stage. Jim, did you want to speak about that and your, your fellow cast members? Well, absolutely. It is the 12 of us. It, it is like a family. The show is so tightly integrated and it's, it's, it's extremely technical. But once you learn all that and relax into it, there's such life everywhere you turn. You know, I can watch Emily's or Delon's performances uh, while we're on stage. That's what we're directed to do. And so it's the greatest experience to be a part of this, of this group uh, delivering this message. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's an ensemble piece basically is what I'm saying, but it's, it's deeply ensemble. It's the deepest, thickest ensemble I've ever been in 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 my career and i think will be that way for my life so it's a great blessing absolutely delon i wanted to touch on your travels because you actually got to go to gander and you got to meet some of these great people and you know travel in newfoundland arguably one of the most beautiful parts of this country uh, my country i should say um what was your big takeaway from being there um so many takeaways but i guess um the the top of mind takeaway would be uh, how I felt like I was in Disneyland because I, I've i lived this show for now four years, even though we didn't perform for, for, for a lot of the last year. So we talk about foods that are specific to Newfoundland. We talk about places that happen that are in Gander. And we talk about people that I hadn't met, you know, significant parts of not only my own character story, um, uh, but other character stories. So uh, one my, my main character, Bob, stays with um, uh, one of the mayors, Derm, in, um, in Appleton, which is a town just close to Gander. Um, and I got to go and have dinner with him and his family. And I got to have whiskey, which is a, a huge part of my my character's um, uh, development or, or benchmark for my character. I got to have whiskey in this whiskey bar, Irish whiskey with, with Derm. Um, so it was a surreal experience. And again, they were kind of like, yeah, welcome. But I was like, you guys, this is, I, I can't believe this. Thank you so much for having me. So it was a really surreal experience. Um, and all, one of the other takeaways is just uh, how they thought they were, they didn't do anything, you know. Um, I continue, I will take that, uh, for the, take that with me from this come from more experience that these people were just, they thought you do it too. That's their philosophy on it. 
um, which was so beautiful. Hey, real students, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe to Real School, click that round Real School logo right beside me. Also, click that damn notification bell so you're aware of all of Real School's new content. You can follow me on Twitter, and of course, if you get anything out of Real School, you can always give a little back. Just click the link in the description below or the button down there, and you can become part of my Patreon team.